once in a while. And I also just woke up from a nap. <laughs> What's poppin' y'all? It's a grocer. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry that I keep going like on and off the radar. Um, I would lie and tell you that it's because my work is really busy and I like have to fix comments and turn PowerPoints all the time, but that's really not the case right now. So really it's just me being lazy. But instead, if you want to check out my TikToks, you can check them out here and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> just kidding. This is for all my hoes out there who want to stir the pot a little bit, want to cause them to fire, want other people from your high school to know that you're better than them. So these are some outfits I would wear when I go back to my high school reunion. And Sucks on all these bitches. Let's get it. Pull the lever, Kronk! Yay, core! Alright, first look. This is for sure the most formal of all the books that I'm going for. This gives off bad, like, you know, I am the single cool rich aunt who doesn't have any kids and does not give a fuck about anybody else, but has a shitload of money and just travels whenever she wants, owns her own company kind of vibes whatever. So if that's how you want to flex on all your uh, country bumpkin high school hoes, then this is a look for you. I'm wearing a classic, just like white button down, and then like to make it a little more chic and cool and not like too formal, I'm wearing this plaid black blazer from Night West. All of my Korean hoes know these are the classic tailored dress pants that everybody everywhere in Korea wears. So I'm wearing these, and then I popped on some heels for a little bit of height and a little bit more of that extra chicness. I can change that for sneakers if you want to be a little more casual, but I'm trying to look like a bad bitch, so. Now, the second look is for my girls who want to look like they just stepped out of a Victorian castle, like they lived abroad in London for five years. They know the epitome of looking like a sophisticated hot bitch and want everybody else in their school to know that. This outfit to me feels very like mom, moved to the Upper East Side, sends her kids to fucking private boarding school, president of the PTA, knows how to talk smack and look pretty while doing it. This is for my girls who are a much more emotionally mature and have a much more secure attachment style than I do. <laughs> so what I'm wearing is I basically just like upped the ante on the first outfit by wearing another white button down but this time it is a ribbed like corseted top and then I wore a green cowl neck Slip dress, paired it with some low, easy heels because moms are on the go. Okay, but you still gotta look good. You're not gonna be, you know, wearing fucking Birkenstocks at this age, day and age. And then paired it with a little white bag to match. And it gives like big Gigi Hadid vibes, you know? Like she gave birth and then one week later she's walking at New York Fashion Week. So that's what we're all aspiring to be by the age of whatever, 27. how dressed you're supposed to be at high school reunions because you know I'm not that old yet but I figured that you can't go wrong with black dress pants the lowest for some reason came back in a style but really it's just for me or anyone to show off prove that you got skinnier between high school and now because we all had a fat phase in between that's just freshman 15 but then I decided to pair it with this white corset. These obviously are super popular right now. I know maybe just the corset is a little bit too hoey for your school. Not that you have like dress code to obey anymore, but isn't it kind of fun to like reminisce on the fucking ridiculous dress codes that your high school had? And, like maintain them while breaking them at the same time because you want to be as hypocritical as you were in high school. You're not trying to fucking like run your high school classmates over, but like you know you look good. They know you look good. Let's move on. This is your chill, laid back. Just here to have a good time. There's no beef that you from high school. It was probably that girl who was super low key. Everybody fucking loved her because she was so cool. Minds her own business. She knows exactly what she wants to do. She's good at what she does. And everybody fucking loves her. And that's all she needs. Her presence is enough to flex on everybody. People fucking probably read about her in the news. She's probably in Forbes 30 under 30 at this point. Like, girl probably fucking lives in California, wears biker shorts all the time. I just decided to throw on a blazer for the fun of it. 
and still carries a tote bag around because she's for sure vegan at this point. <laughs> she does like the millionaire routine in the morning or has those TikToks where she restocks her kitchen with everything perfectly organized, everything fits perfectly. She's probably that bitch. That's who I would aspire to be if I were, you know, more mentally stable. This next look is the model off duty kind of look. She really is just here to say hello. She's got a busy schedule. Girl probably has her manager calling her every four seconds. Point is, is that this is the look for the girls who want to give off that like, I really don't give a shit about any of y'all here. Like you mean so little to me. And even in that state where I could give less of a shit, I still dress better than all of you in the room. I just got a tie top, something that flatters the neckline, a little skin, but isn't like, we're not, we're not at whoring out of stage, we're getting there. But a little sleeker and a little less showy, put on a solid classic moto leather jacket. Here with your favorite pair of jeans, something that makes you feel good and look good and you know, shows off the booty, it shows off how long your legs are, whatever. And then, here's the deal. I know people are gonna hate on the chunky dad shoes, but I've liked them for the past four years. I think I'll like them for the next five, so I've paired it with classic chunky white filas and just a handy dandy solid bag that, you know, carries all your necessities. Paired off with a pair of sunglasses and a hair clip, and you're good to go. Now this, this is the girl who did not fucking come to play. At this point, she doesn't care if people gossip about her or say that at her age she shouldn't be dressing like that. Like she is here to show you all the fuck up. She is going to walk in and take off that blazer immediately. She is out here to show all of you that her figure is popping, her booty is popping, and her life is probably better than yours. She still has every boy hitting her up. Probably all of her exes from high school will look at her and then DM her on Instagram afterwards. She's going to stand there, drink her drink, and watch the pot stir. Literally sit back and relax. Enjoy the commotion that's happening when she walks into the room. We've got these incredible long, wide-legged leather pants that I actually thrifted from a vintage shop in Brooklyn. So she's hot and she's sustainable. I also thrifted this scarf top from Depop, popped on a couple of rings, both silver and gold because a bitch does not have to obey the rules when she looks like this. And then popped on some tall white boots so she can stomp on every person who tried to belittle her in high school because bitch came out on top. And at the end of it all, she's not even gonna be a bitch about it. She's not gonna say anything mean. She's not gonna get anybody any dirty looks. She's just gonna put her coat back on and say toodles. <laughs> Lastly, we have a girl who is here to start a motherfucking fire. Her whole goal is not to, you know, exchange pleasantries it is not to ask about how your kids are doing or where you're at in your career. Her entire goal is to make everybody's jaws drop to the floor and ensue chaos. So she's going to wear the most outrageous thing. She wants all the grandparents at this reunion to, you know, maybe meet their time a little earlier than expected. She wants all the parents to be forced to cover their children's eyes because she is out here to show off. She's going to be loud and noisy and rambunctious and rebellious and a complete public menace to the people in her hometown. I support it. Would I be this person? Probably not. But you know, not all of us can be the main character. If I were this character, I would wear this pretty much see-through mesh like tie-dye-y patterned dress popped on some heel combat boots because at this point we're just committing to the loud clacky iron thong here. Obviously had to pair it with the red sunnies because they just go with the look. Oh, maybe it gets a little chilly at night. So a matching brown puffer to an otherwise completely chaotic 
an incredible look. As Uncle Nigel would say, sorry children.